And right now we're getting our first look at some of the work that's being done so far to bring a high speed train from Las Vegas to Southern California. That's right. 8 News Now reporter Ryan Tismaneski, a meeting with the team who's helping Brightline West prepare the land for the tracks. Before tracks are laid and high speed trains fly by, desert around Salon needs to be dug. In a few years time, this should be the site of the Brightline West maintenance facility. But in the meantime, there's some boring work to be done, literally. One of the first steps is to dig 50 foot holes in the ground. Engineer Connor Barlow's team with UES is analyzing what comes out of them. We are going out here with these lovely drill rigs and we are trying to see what those underlying subsurface soils are. Barlow and other researchers go through the different levels of underground soil to figure out the best ways to build a foundation and pave the desert. The structural engineers, architects, they're going to use our foundation. Uh, recommendations to do their design work. On top of being an engineer, Barlow, born and raised in Las Vegas, is no stranger to the longtime rumors of trains coming to the valley. Now he sees a real future with Brightline West. It's been told time and time again, like, hey, when's the train coming? Or we're going to see it, we're going to see it. But now that we're actually breaking ground, we see those grants are approved and everything's kind of coming together like we can see a light at the end of the tunnel. Barlow says the field work from UES should be done by early December with their report ready to go around the end of the year. After that, it's in Brightline's hands to start building. Ryan Tisbaneski, 8 News Now.